ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You can purchase the Magneti Morelli wiper motor used in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. In order to change the wiper motor, you'll need to remove the driver's side scuttle panel grille as well as the wipers. Using a flathead screwdriver, Remove the two screws holding the metal headlight cover. Then remove it. At the junction of the driver and passenger scuttle half grille, remove the two central screws with a Phillips screwdriver. Again with a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws at the end of the scuttle half grilles. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the clamp on the rainwater drain hose, then remove the hose. Close the bonnet. Before removing the windscreen wipers, place adhesive tape in order to keep a precise indication of their location at the end position. This will make it possible to correctly position them when reassembling. Remove the two rubber covers so that the two wiper arms can be unscrewed using a ratchet, an extension and a 13mm socket. Remove the wiper arm by making slight movements up and down. If it doesn't come easily, we recommend using a car wiper arm puller to make the task a little easier. To remove the passenger side wiper, you need to open the bonnet again. Take out the waterproofing joint on the scuttle panel grille by pulling it upwards from one end to the other. Then remove the scuttle half grille by alternately opening and closing the bonnet. You can now see the windshield engine and its linkage. To make removal of the motor easier, disconnect the connections under the brake fluid reservoir with a flathead screwdriver. Disconnect the connections under the brake fluid reservoir with a flathead screwdriver. Then remove the electrical sheaths from the motor mount. Using a ratchet and a 10mm socket, unscrew the two screws holding the linkage. Then, unscrew the screw holding the engine mount. Finally, remove the motor linkage. Then, disconnect the power supply connector. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. Start by removing the rubber protection from the motor. It is important to take a picture of the position of the linkage in order to reassemble it identically later. Remove the linkage from the motor. Apply lubricant to facilitate the removal. Using a Torx 30 screwdriver, remove the four screws that hold the motor to the linkage.
remember to keep them aside for later reassembly. Then, remove the wiper motor. You can purchase the Magneti Morelli wiper motor used in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Take the new motor and insert it in the holder. Retrieve the four self-tapping screws, then screw the motor back on. Lubricate the motor stud, then put the linkage back in place in the exact position it was removed. you must choose a brand new rubber protection for this operation. You can purchase it from the link in the video description. Put the motor linkage back in its place. Then screw back the retaining screws. Reconnect the power supply. Clip the electric sheath back in. Reconnect the connector under the brake fluid reservoir. Now you can test if your mechanism works. Replace the driver's side scuttle half grail. Clip it into place. Then, screw back the screws, holding the scuttle panel in place. Put the waterproof joint back. Position the mechanism in such a way so that all the elements are aligned. You can now tighten the windscreen wipers, then remove the adhesive strips. Refit the rainwater drain pipe. Refit the metal cover on the headlight. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.